we want to inspire our students to be successful and to grow. And that all started with the design that we put together with DLR Group. The Smaller Learning Community, SLCs, we call it a neighborhood. Each neighborhood has two cores in it. We've got two smaller learning communities upstairs and downstairs, and that we call the pod. The whole neighborhood space builds community. We were struggling within the old building of how do we pull our teams together. This allows for multiple different variations, whether they're using the area on the stairs or the area above the stairs. To take that flexibility and that concept and add it in was valuable. We were looking at maximizing the space. There's numerous examples. I mean, the, the library, you know, Old Carry was probably more of a library. This is a media center. The Commons, Old Carry, they would do three or four lunches to get all the students through. Now that's a huge social gathering space in the mornings. It's lunchtime, after hour, tutoring, and then of course it doubles up as an auditorium. So every space we've tried to maximize, just a very flexible building. It wasn't just happenstance. Not only is it beautiful to be in the spaces here, the windows, the openness, it's not the hard, harsh school of the past. It's a soft place to land. My favorite spaces are the common areas outside of the classrooms, the collaboration spaces, the learning stairs. You know, we often talk about how teaching and learning is about the teacher and how they impact the kids, but I think this is a great example of how a building can accentuate that teaching and learning. I love coming to school, and I think the new building contributes to that. 